Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's How to Hack the Nintendo Wii Part 6. Today I'm going to show you how to install Sega ROMs and the Sega Channel using WADs. Now, when I say we're installing Sega ROMs, I'm not just talking about Sega Genesis. We're going to add Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Master System, and Sega CD. So make sure that your 16 gig or 32 gig SD card is in your computer at this time, and let's get started. You're going to want to go to this website that's in the description below. From here, you're going to want to download a file called Gen Plus GX. It's going to help you install ROMs for all these systems. So scroll over to the right where you see the download link. Click on it and download the Gen Plus GX link here. It's going to download a zip folder to your computer. And just like we've done previously, you want to extract this open it up and don't worry about everything else you really just want this apps folder so let's cut that and let's paste it into the root of our SD card so everything that was in that apps folder is now in the apps folder on the SD card as you can see right there there's the gen plus GX folder back at the Wii make sure that you've installed your SD card go into the homebrew channel and hit start when you get into this menu, you're going to see a new Genesis Plus GX option. You're going to want to click on it. Hit load. Press A. Press A again. And you'll see this screen here. From here, all you really want to do is exit though. The reason you did this is because it's going to add a folder on your SD card that wasn't previously there. Back at your computer with your SD card plugged in, you can see this brand new folder in the root of your SD card called Gen Plus. So this wasn't here before. Doing what we just did on the Wii created this folder. Let's see what's in it. So you have all these other folders in here. Uh, this is where you're going to add your ROMs though. In order to do that, you need to create a new folder and just call it ROMs. So this is where you're going to put all your ROMs. Just like we did previously for other systems, you're going to want to separate the folders though for your ROMs. Game Gear, Genesis, Master System, Sega CD. So I've got these ROMs on another folder on my computer, so I'm just going to copy and paste them into the ROMs folder on the SD card. So let's do that right now. So I have a lot of games in here. This is probably going to take a while. You don't need to see this part, so we're going to skip through it. And I'll show you what to do next once all your ROMs are loaded. So here they are. They're all loaded up, but in order to get Sega CD games to work properly, you have to install BIOS files. So these BIOS files don't come with any of the files that I've showed you already, so you're going to have to download them separately. So go to this website that's in the description below. Just click on the download link here. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to open it up in your downloads folder. Extract it as per usual. Once it's extracted, you want to get these BIOS files out and put them in the BIOS folder on your SD card. Just these ones here, cut them, paste them into this BIOS folder on your SD card. This is going to help you play Sega CD games. The next thing you want to do is go to this website which is in the description below and download the Gen Plus GX WAD file. So just click on this download button, it will go into your downloads folder on your computer just cut it out of there, go to your SD card, and that WADS folder that you did earlier, open it up, go into channels, and just paste it in there. So this is how you're going to get your Sega channel on your Nintendo Wii. Back at the Wii, make sure your SD card is installed and go into the homebrew channel. Once in here, just click on start. And 
then once the homebrew channel opens, go to the multi-mod manager which you installed a while back and click on load. Once it's loaded up, go into the iOS manager, hit A. Once in here, you want to scroll down to 249 and once you're on it, hit the home button on your Wii controller. It's loading up. Once that's done, go back to this menu by pressing B, go into the WAD manager. Here's where you're going to install that WAD that you downloaded. Scroll down to WADs, hit A, go down to channels, click on A, go down to the, the Gen Plus WAD that you downloaded and put on your SD card, click A, click A to proceed, and it is installing. This is going to install a Sega channel for you. Press any key to continue, any button to continue. Press B to go back. Uh, you can exit out of here now. Go back to your system menu by hitting the, the home button. And there it is. There is your Sega channel. So let's click on it and see what we have. Once in here, you can just press start. Press A to continue. And here are the different systems. Go into here. Let's try out a, a Game Gear game. Let's see what the gameplay looks like. We'll just pick any game here. Aladdin. Remember, this is Game Gear. Here it is, you can see that it loads up, it works. Let's press start. And there it is. Again, uh, you don't hear any sound on these games, but I can assure you that the sound does work. Let's look at a different game here. Let's exit. Try a Genesis game. Altered Beast, one of my favorites. Here it is, awesome. Can play this on your Nintendo Wii. There you see it loads up. Looks good. Everything works just fine here. Let's exit out of here. Let's try a different game. Press B to go up to the previous directory. I don't think I've ever played this game before, but again, just showing you that it loads up, it works, everything works great. Let's get out of here, let's try a different game, different system, let's try the Sega CD. And again, without those uh, BIOS files, this wouldn't work.
as you can see here, everything's loading up just fine. Everything works. I'm just going to exit out of here and that's it. You now have all the Sega games that you could ever want. Thanks for watching. The next video I'm going to show you how to install Atari games.